kitties. Hi, Jude. <laughs> yeah, sniff the camera. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm with Bradley, my boyfriend, and it's yes, it's Bradley, not Brad, because he's not American, so he doesn't follow that shortening name. Not crap. American, no. No, he's American, but he's South African. Anyway, we're driving on the Howard Franklin Bridge on our way to St. Pete, but actually Fort DeSoto to go camping. This is where we're going to be camping. Focus number 46. It's shaky. Apparently there are mangroves right in front of us, but when I was trying to book it, it was last minute, so there wasn't really anywhere else. And the one place that I wanted to go was already being booked as I was checking out, so that was kind of an like because it looked like the best spot available at the time. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know what to do! Available. At the, at the time. time. <laughs> I speak slowly. Words don't come to my head very quickly because I had the cord around my neck as a child in the womb. <laughs> now I'm doing that on purpose. Let's look at this view because it's probably more interesting than me. We live over there. there much longer so I'll show you guys when we get there um, any camping activities we do grilling out making a campfire except it's not really loud we have to build up some kind of uh, what do we have to do some sort of container for a fire and I don't have one so maybe Walmart has one which we're gonna stop by there maybe maybe we'll vlog at Walmart that'd be funny a charcoal grill a charcoal grill they have a charcoal grill they have a charcoal grill guys Sorry. Stop. Man, babe. Stop recording it now, too. Babe. Sorry. Can't, make this Can't beat our meat prices. This is why I don't open the window. Well, it's not as fun being a female. Oh, look, there's a sign. Dang it. I don't remember how any of this is done because I was... Dang it! Google, shut up! I was last here in 10th grade in high school, so it's been how many years? I'll call if it's been a $118 fine. Thank goodness I didn't drink. <laughs> yeah. That's holy shit. You can see the water from your campsite. No tents on grass, why not? It'll be cooler. This way. 46. We're home. Yeah, actually, see, I picked a good place. Why are we putting Ours a tent? has a cross right here. Why are we gonna put the tent? It's not really a cross. It's already so hot, don't you think so? And I don't want to like, is there like people camping right next to us? I don't want to be like that person who's vlogging something so nature-like. Where's my other sunglasses? Where are my other sunglasses? Yeah, this place is, it's like beachy camping instead of woods camping, because we don't have woods. Yeah, we're doing all of them. Not really. Okay, time to unpack our stuff. We need more shade, like holy crap. What? Bees, really. Bees. I don't like bugs. So we got those yeah, bracelets. We come to nature. Well, because it's fun. Whoops, our lantern's already broken. It's not broken. It's just I know. 
We bought everything from Ozark Trail, so shout out to them because they're like super cheap. Yeah, super cheap camping brand. And this is Ozark Trail. What is it? I forgot what we got. Oh, the stove, propane stove. Um, they don't. Yeah, and they were like five bucks. So now. Let's just unpack the stuff. Thank you, little Chinese slaves. Hey. Okay. So I'm gonna use my Evolve Minuteman knife that I got sent today because this is like the only time I would use a knife like this because I don't really carry knives. I get scared by my dad always using them around me. But so, camping, that's the best time to use them. Come on. So now we have to open up this brand new tent that we bought and Valerie yes. don't want to try it out. So I'll cut it open. Okay, we're gonna put this knife to the test on this box. It's all easy. Yeah, let's see what I can do. Please don't stab me. There's like no effort though. Hey, I didn't... There. That's not in the camera. Yeah, it is. I'm gonna stab you. Why are you going towards me? Because <laughs> that's fun. I've never put a tent together. Oh. Really? Have you? Yeah. I don't remember if I have. I don't think Probably so. Probably not. Well, don't you just secure this part down on the ground? This is going to be a challenge. You know, when I was a kid, I actually used to sleep in a tent in my, well, maybe not always sleep, but I had a tent in my patio that I was hanging out in. I don't know, I think I play with my dolls in a tent. How do I do making a tent for the first time? Well, since I did most of the work, you did pretty good. No, you didn't, and pretty well. Now, I deserve to sit down in the shade. <laughs> Got a little slot for your extra magazine and your knife. That's definitely not what I used to keep in there as a kid. <laughs> I kept probably okay. Polly Pockets in there. Can you use the back one for your Going. No, that's, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, and then it goes off on you in your sleep on your Why face. Would it go off on you in your if sleep you're sleepwalking. Yeah. <laughs> and you reach for it. Okay, blow up the mattresses. Blow me. I guess if we think of this as like naked and afraid, when you're in the wilderness, what's one thing that you would bring with you? Some people would bring their pet or. No one would bring it. A bong pipe if they're <laughs> stoner. I would bring a knife. Okay. So I'm not gonna carry this in the case, but if you, you do, you should buy have this, one in your pocket. Yeah, but it does come with this case, so just so you know, guys. And I will be giving away one of these knives. Is this how I should be telling them? <laughs> I guess. I will be giving away one of these knives. Um, starting Sunday, the 11th. Is when I'm gonna post this, so hopefully there, you can say a date in case you don't. Well, you're I already terrible told someone I was it. going to, so you can enter to win this. I'll have the same kind of situation I had for the goat gun giveaway. You'll just have to go in the description of the video. Why am I posed like this? Hurry <laughs> up! <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. Sorry. A knife is very important to have when you're camping. If you guys are planning on going camping, or you just carry a knife on you at all times, like like this guy does. Why are you taking your shirt off? If you carry a knife on you at all times, this could be a pretty good one. I know that this is not going to break off. Knife. Huh? That's their EDC knife. EDC? Yeah, everyday carry. Oh. Really. <laughs> right. So enter win this down below from Blade Runner Systems. It's called the Minutemen knife from the Evolve series, I believe. It's got a little E on it. And it feels really sturdy and it cuts like butter. We'll see how it fares during this whole trip because I'm going to have to cut open a lot of things. 
and maybe I want to cut my steak with it. That'll be like the biggest test for me. What else do I need to cut, really? Other than boxes. Let's, let's just see if it'll... You don't cut it. There's like a... I know, but I wanted to... Look at that. Could've... Look how little effort that was. What? <laughs> and then you got struggling at the end. But that's, that's just, just because you... <laughs> in here, just so you know. Oh yeah, nice. Put that over your head. I meant the bag. Uh, I can't actually feel it through my hair. Here, take one. Turns out it's way too hot to do any camping at this hour, so we're just gonna head to the beach. Um, there's yeah, Valerie like Dingo campsite on the beach. It's on the water, but you can't actually go in the water that it's next to. In 1,000 feet, turn right. Why is she always Central talking Park. when I'm talking? <laughs> no, the water that we're on isn't actually meant to be swimming. Swimming? Swimming? It says deep holes. I don't know why you wouldn't want to swim in deep holes. Yeah, and I think it's mainly for kayakers, so if that's a word. Um, so we're gonna go to the beach, and that'll be a way to cool off, and then and there's it'll... also the fort, because it says there's Fort a DeSoto. Fort. Yeah, there's a fort, a fort over here at Fort DeSoto. Imagine that, Fort DeSoto has a fort. Really, babe? Yeah, it's yeah, a start. Yeah, I know. Let's go see a spot. So it's too bright to look. Put your sunglasses on. I don't want to, I can't see out of that place. So where are we now? We're at North Beach at Fort DeSoto, just cooling off because it's super hot right now, at our campsite at least. And we're just swimming a bit. I'm afraid of everything in the water though, so it's not that great. But there's a nice sandbar out there, so I found a cool slug thing that I was playing with. I should have footage you of that. You are such a weirdo. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> but you didn't bring your GoPro, so... I know, I wish I had water footage, but... Too bad. If we go on a cruise, I will definitely film that though, because then we'll have all these cruise things to do. But not this year, unfortunately. But at Tennessee, we can do some filming. That'll be cool. Time to go check out the historic fort here. It might be a total waste of time and bullcrap, but it also seems semi cool, right? Yeah, I want to go to it. Yeah, he's more excited than I am. Maybe it's haunted. That'll be cool. Why would that be cool? I don't know. There's what no is it not? You like supernatural. Yeah, but there's no such thing as ghosts. So. We shall see. Can you hear, I wonder if the camera can hear that. Like people are sh making noises inside the fort. I wonder if they like, call, the up, they call up messages to each other. Like, hey, bring me down a pizza, large, stat. Valerie, the monkey, huh? in the zoo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come on, well, since it's... Cribs, let me show you around the place. <laughs> it's super since cool. this is a gun channel. Yeah, yeah, this, be, this is the one thing that fits in with it, but wow. just because of this one thing, I can make it hashtag guns. <laughs> it's very sturdy. Let's see. Oh, that's cool. Can you imagine making this? Hey, Let's interrupted see, threads. My dad would love that. It looks like it, right? You oh, look, wait. <laughs> yeah, look at the curve. Like, do the threading in there. Yeah. Look at the cameras right now. Yeah, oh, the rifling. Yeah. Come on, babe. Right. That one. Yeah, but... Yeah, I don't know why it's facing inland. It should be facing that, but the fort blocks it, 
so there's no way that it will be able to. Maybe they re relocated it. Possible. But maybe there's water over there too, so maybe they were getting people from all sides. Mm hmm. Well, how else are they going to aim? Um, I don't know. I didn't think they could see that. You probably couldn't even move that even if you wanted to. So rusty in there. Look at those giant springs. Oh, oh, oh. They had to make those like themselves. This is the only barrel I'm willing to stand in front of because it would take so long to load it that I would know that you're loading it. steaks prep but we forgot uh, scissors so yet again gotta whip up your knife gotta whip out the knife and this will be pretty easy blood's gonna get everywhere is it sharp? Hmm? Oh, that seemed pretty sharp huh? yeah well that's um, good it's just, there's gonna be a lot of blood on this plate unless you want me to just use you can use the tongs. I'm being bitten. If I had to go camping with a knife, it would be this one. My other ones are super dull. Okay. And this one clearly is not. Look at those weirdos who are filming everything we're doing, but look at those. Ooh, just burning. Luckily, I cleaned the grill though, because it would have looked really gross on here. Oh, yeah. oh man. You know, I really wish there was smell a vision so people could smell how amazing they smell. Which one's mine? Okay, no, that one's yours, because you're shredding it. <laughs> it's not my fault. Shredding it. Yeah, I want my medium rare. You know that though. Medium rare, I tell you. This is the life. Getting bitten by insects. Having steak cook for you. No technology except for this camera right here. And a phone with no cell service, really. I say. The good outdoors. Except next time I think we'll come in the week in the not the weekend, the winter. We'll come in the winter because at least when you wear long sleeves, you're not going to be attacked by little gnats every five seconds. And this is my protection from mosquitoes. It was my idea. We should have just gotten a citronella candle, but we learned our lesson, and next time... I learned my lesson, and next time we're going to have some better protection from bugs. Maybe some kind of light zapper. That works perfectly fine for me. Maybe I just have to shower first, which this isn't really roughing it here at this campsite because there are showers and bathrooms and stuff, but I'm a little too high maintenance to go somewhere where I have to pee in the bushes and not shower because I'd feel too grungy. I hope this can withstand heat. No, I don't know why I wouldn't be able to. Oh yeah, that cut through that like butter. Yeah, How's that's it? definitely done. Sweet. Okay, we're playing Exploding Kittens, and if you don't know what game that is, it was made up by some guy who does comics, so he has a website called theoatmeal.com, and his comics are basically on these cards, like little drawings, just ridiculous stuff like this. You're gonna have to reshuffle that now. I know, it's fine. And Exploding Kitten was like second lost. Oh, <laughs> but yeah, it's just really silly drawings like this. And you should check out his website because it's really funny. And this isn't sponsored by Exploding Kittens or The Oatmeal, just by the way. And this has got like funny, yeah, funny sayings stuff. on. There's Taco Cat. Yeah, Taco Cat. I'm a palindrome. <laughs> it's just freaking weird. But the, the premise behind the game is that you don't want to get the Exploding Kitten. And so if you've got five players, 
uh, five people playing, then you're going to have four exploding kittens in the deck to get everybody out. But you're also going to start out with a diffuse card, so you can potentially fix it. So it's kind of like stuff you would do for your cat to stop them from being upset. So tummy petting protocol, rub belly, endure blood and agony, quietly weep and keep rubbing belly. So that's how you diffuse your cat, which is kind of funny. And then here's my deck of cards. I don't want to show any of them, but Basically, if you have two of, maybe if you had two of Taco Cat, you could pick from your teammate's um, deck randomly, but if you have three of something, then you can just ask for something, like, I need this. And there are skip cards, and seeing the future, you can see if you're about to draw the exploding kitten. But either way, it's really fun, so. Ladies first. Shouldn't I show my cards to them? They were not going to be able to see. I would have laughed if there was like someone beyond the camera and I'm like, <laughs> like showing it to some random person. Okay, go play. Okay. I'm gonna skip this turn. Give me a card. Here. <laughs> well, I can ask for a card. Right. <laughs> Give me a card. Damn it! I have one card. Can you draw a card already? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna shuffle it. There are two cards left. I'm shuffling it. Wait, I'll be stupid. I don't remember which is which. You don't know which is which. I'm I saying, I don't know if it was on the top, which one was on the top. You didn't know one. either way. I'm saying, there are two cards, I don't know which one started on the top, so I could I be stole. screwing myself anyway. <laughs> oh, wait, well obviously you know I didn't get it, because this is one card. And then I diffuse. Now what do we do? Now it's your turn. Give me a favor. Do you want a card? Wait. Yeah, I need a card. <laughs> My card isn't gonna help anyway. Shuffle? Really? Okay, I can shuffle it. <laughs> There's one card. There's one card. I exploded. Thanks. I also had another Good diffuse game. card. <laughs> How? Oh my gosh, that looks three. ridiculous. Catnip sandwiches. Okay, well. That was fun. Yeah, that was fun. Okay, there are a ton of gnats in the camp, in the tent right now, and I don't know how they're getting in. Um, can you see those? Probably not. But they were biting me before bed and now this morning, and I don't know how they're getting through this lining since it's supposed to be like triple stitched or something. But we're about to have bacon soon, so and our neighbors were super loud last night for no reason and the curfew was 10 o'clock so I don't know why they couldn't get it together especially since they had kids stupid people oh, kids making yeah the kids were making a ton of noise but I'm laying in bed with a ten so that's the problem and air mattresses are so not comfortable just in case anyone was wondering why I was because I feel like people were listening it's early in the morning, it's like, oh, 7.12, not really that early, but for some people, yes, that's early. Okay, time for bacon, make me bacon. Yet again, this knife is proving to be useful. So I'll accept just getting bacon bits in it. The whole campsite's unpacked. Or I guess it's all packed up. All right, so one last thing we gotta do. Hold what? this. I got a card for me. Which I never do that, but because I've got a super sharp knife, I'm gonna do it. I never card the tree before, and I know it's bad. So don't try this at home. It comes card. Huh?
can't even see it. But it's sharp. It already has so many lines, it's kind of impossible. Just like B and V. And then I don't know how I'm gonna do a heart. <laughs> Wanna try? Or no. That's fine. Okay. All right, that's all for camping. I am done being bitten by insects. Kind of happy to go home, but now I know some things that we need to do next time, like bring some decent bug repellent rather than these dumb bracelets that didn't do a damn other than maybe protect us from mosquitoes, so I guess that's good. Um, feel kind of dehydrated, don't you? No, I'm um, I do. I don't know why. But sleeping on an air mattress isn't that comfortable, so next time, pop-up camper, proper bug spray, and a uh, campsite with a view that's on Just our next list. They threw it away? Well, maybe they're done camping. They were like us and like, screw this, it sucks. No, just kidding, I enjoyed it. I like waking up in nature. Just, I'm a little baby about some of the nature aspects, aren't I? Yep, I think so. <laughs> hey, at least I did it, I enjoyed it. It's fine. So, I'll see you in my next video. Don't know when that'll be. Sorry, I've been having so many giveaways recently, but really, who's Why gonna complain? Are you sorry about that? <laughs> sorry. sorry you're getting free stuff, guys. Sorry I've been making a lot of product videos recently, but I haven't had time to film on the weekends. I'm doing stuff like this and not shooting, so there's not that much content. So I wanted to bring you guys something that at least could be enjoyable, and this is what we did this weekend, so give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe, and remember to check the description for that giveaway if you want a Minuteman, Minuteman knife from BRS, Blade Runner Systems. Okay, bye guys. Yeah, Don't forget to like and subscribe.